Hi everyone, in this video we're going to continue to explore how to use GitHub Copilot with Terraform. In today's session we are going to do a little bit of code refactoring into an environment and into a code that I just created. So here we can see that I am using um, a root um, module creation here and I'm using that to create uh, automatically um, some hosted compute networking otherwise called a vnet injection or vnet injected uh, github actions runner so in order to do that you can see that i am iterating in a module into an object that defines this it defines here the name of the runner i want to use the resource group the vnet the subnet and where do i want to register that do i want to register that in the github enterprise or in the github organization so now let's do a little bit of refactoring. We tried a bit of things uh, fast and uh, dirty. Here we see that here, for instance, I did some uh, mention of the attributes directly, but I'm going to follow the same pattern as here, uh, referencing uh, the object and trying to see if the object is present or if the object is null. So here I can select that. And if I do the refactoring here, you'll see that I'll be using the uh, inline completions of GitHub Copilot. So here I can see and I can type try and here you see that automatically it followed the patterns that it found previously uh, from the line 24 and it told me hey uh, GitHub hosted compute networking it's the key register in GitHub Enterprise slug because it's so in the context that here GitHub Enterprise is referred by is um, by a slug. So we see that it's a very quick and easy uh, refactoring here just using the inline completion and that's great. Now when we continue the refactoring you'll always find yourself um, wondering if you should use the chat or if you should use the inline uh, completions. There's no single answer for that but here you can see for instance I want to refactor this one and instead of using an explicit name to the resource group mentioned here I want to add a reference to a resource group uh, key which is a reference to another module's um, output. So in order to do that you could try to explain that to the uh, to the chat here and explain the question I want to refactor I want to use this I want to do a coalesce or you can just uh, sometimes uh, start to do the refactoring and use the chat or use the completion alternatively depending on where you are in the, st in the stage and where you are, where you're stuck so here you can start for instance doing uh, a coalesce of this variable and you see that you want to define first that you're going to use this uh, variable and here you define okay I want to use the module.infra which is another uh, resource that I've created here that is inside this uh, infrastructure call so I'm calling this module and it has a set of outputs so I can do module.infra dot resource group And then I can see that it kind of interpolates here uh, the variable that, that we have. So here I could use potentially that and I could say it's not a each key dot resource group dot key and the variable is already iterated here. So it's, it's probably more uh, each dot value dot resource group dot key and the name uh, that is here. And that looks not too bad so maybe uh, for the next one you s might want to use the chat and say hey uh, refactor uh, vnet name and subnet name as the resource group just being lazy here just using uh, that to refactor uh, the rest and um, you can see that it's giving me that that output so i don't need to rewrite everything i could have done that with the autocomplete um, as well but let's uh, let's just use this one here you can see that i have my module.infra virtual networks h.value.vnet key okay maybe that's the right variable maybe not maybe i use vnet uh, that's another way to refer to that uh, to that object and uh, here maybe as well I can go into the object model and I want to reference uh, vnet 
um, as a subobject. So vnet dot each dot value dot vnet key and then the subnet each dot key dot subnet key. So that looks a little bit uh, better now. We have a code that sounds uh, a little bit more uh, complex, that looks a little bit more uh, sound. So I can just do um, a terraform fmt slash recursive. So at least my file looks a little bit uh, better in terms of, uh, of uh, code alignment. And I can just maybe run uh, a plan for that and see if at least I didn't do any syntax uh, error. There isn't any problem into that. Uh, maybe I got it right, maybe uh, not. Let's see and let's see how Copilot can help me uh, further. Okay, so I can see now that in the plan that has executed, I have the network settings that are going to be added and I have uh, my RESTful operation here that are going to be added. So um, maybe that looks good. Maybe I can just do uh, apply of the plan and uh, let's see where it's, um, it's taking us. So I just do an apply of the TF plan I just did and let's see what's, uh, what's happening in there. I'm inside this, I have uh, the call to this uh, resource. So I'm gonna call now the AZ API Terraform provider to push the network settings. And I'm going to then run this guy to deploy a RESTful operation to push some API for my runner configuration. So here we are, it's creating the AZ API uh, resource network settings right now. And we can see that uh, it's uh, working for the AZ API stuff. But for the second one, it's uh, not really working. I getting uh, operation API returns uh, 422. So it's probably looking like a formatting uh, error. That's, that's good. That's what usually Copilot is uh, not too bad um, at. I can ask the question to fix that again. And do I need to JSON encode for the rest full provider and mention the last terminal command to fix that particular error. I can just validate here and you see that in the context again I'm using both the main file and this guy and here it's mentioning that uh, yeah maybe you want to try removing the JSON encode from the body attribute so maybe let's just use that that looks like a reasonable suggestion. Maybe I don't need that for this particular uh, RESTful provider. I apply uh, the changes. Maybe I just need um, that one as well. Just trying to simplify my data structure. Let's just give it another plan. And you see that, okay, this time I got rid of my um, error in terms of the uh, formation of my query. So I was able to do that. So the last thing I can do for my code here is I can do a review and I can say, oh, there's still this location here. And I can tell, uh, hey, uh, refactor to avoid hard-coded location. And hopefully what it's gonna suggest me is all the places where I need to change my code. So here it's telling me that inside this uh, variable.tf, I need to uh, change that. I need to add the location. And maybe I wanna use the default value, maybe I don't want. Then I need to update the main.tf to use the variable var.location. And then uh, this is how it looks like inside my, uh, my environment. So this is how GitHub Copilot helps you into refactoring your code. As you see, there's no one uh, single way uh, for all the problems. You are finding yourself a mix of using the chat, using the uh, inline completion, depending on what's best for your refactoring. So let's see you soon for another video on Terraform and Copilot together.